All right, today we're going to be talking about what team nading is and why it is so important in search and destroy, especially at the pro level. So let's get right into it. So for this video, I'm basically just going to be talking over a compilation of a bunch of team nade opportunities that I found uh, from last season. And I just want to talk about the effect that team nading or double nading actually has in a search round. So we're specifically talking about search here. Uh, it can be used in respawn, obviously, but the main idea is to double nade or team nade in search or destroy because of the advantages that it could give. So. To start off, why do we team nade? Obviously, we need to have two nades in order to kill someone because of how many times teams are using a uh, flak jacket in search and destroy. Uh, you know, nades are powerful and to die by just one is a super big buzz kill and it's very, very hard not to run in search and destroy uh, because of how big the nades are. So two nades are necessary because you can't just kill with one and it really does promote teamwork uh, within the game of search and destroy. So why is it important? So it really is important because it can disrupt enemy setup. So let's say you're on offense and this team is really still countering you on their defenses by playing the same power position. You know, if you can land a double nade that have you've practiced or have done together in a private lobby, you can really disrupt their setup by forcing them to not play there anymore. You can really disrupt that setup by forcing them not to play that position anymore. You know, it is pretty hard to actually find the specific spots for some of these nades, uh, but you can get really nerdy and crafty with it. Uh, as you can see here, there are a lot of times that we don't even hit it, but the threat is actually still there because there's a possibility uh, for them to still get hit. You know, even if it's close, even if they hear it happen, uh, there is a threat for that power position to not be used anymore. So they are less likely to play that power position. And if they're not, you know, the threat is still there, but maybe they use a trophy. And if, if we're talking about search and destroy, and especially last year in MW2 with sound EQ, you know, that's one less person with dead silence. And one less person with dead silence is huge in the game of search because of how much importance you know sound is and footsteps are if you're forcing one player to use a trophy just to keep playing one spot you know that's that's a win in of itself like even if you don't hit the nades you know that itself is a win on your book so it really is important to start using some teammates in your favor especially if you're just playing rank play all you need is one other teammate uh, to start you know working this with or one other friend that you can grab and be like you know we're going to be using this teammate every single round this is some common spots that teams will play or players will play in rank play and, and let's try and hit this you know get crafty with it because it can really actually super improve your gameplay and it, you know what sometimes it's just a free first blood on your level so as you can see in this new york versus vegas vod you know they hit this double nade mid alley on the silo and they literally get a first blood for free before the round even basically starts before everyone is in their initial position so it can really be effective for getting those first bloods and it's really effective especially in round one when no one even has trophies that they can counter it so any power position is fair game to getting double naded on and you know, it is such a big important aspect to the pro level because you can really counter some teams with how they like to play or if they like to, you know, play the bomb quickly and that person on bomb is using flak jacket, you know, you could still double nade them. You know, if you get information that the offense is planning the bomb and you and a teammate know for sure some spots where you can cook up a nade and land it on the bomb site, that's the freest kill of your life there and the bomb is down. So like there are so many opportunities for teams uh, and we've gotten hit with this too. I believe there was a Toronto uh, match where we kept getting double nated on Fortress and Dan was just having a really hard time getting towards the bomb site because of the double nades. So it can really you know, stunt a whole push and force players to get out of their comfort zone and not play positions where they may have game plan to start playing that against you. You know, so it is really a good habit to start getting uh, a teammate to start throwing a nade with you guys. You know, all the time uh, I see people just throwing single nades and you know, they can be useful for getting information, but you're not really gonna get any kills with it. So, you know, getting that teammate, actually using teamwork and getting a kill off of it is just so much more beneficial. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this another tip video and I'll see you guys in the next one.